Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so this is going to be a little difficult. We're going to talk about, um, well, we're going to talk about collisions. So <laughs> the hardest part about this is that you've got to deal with the fact that you've got two different images here. So um, this is going to be a tough, um, that's a tough exercise. So I'm going to just basically walk you through how I did it in this little slideshow. Um, and then hopefully it'll make a little sense but to be honest don't think too hard about it like you're just basically gonna have to adjust your code once you start playing with it but understand that you're gonna need to know where the coordinates are so first let's remember that the images are placed at the top left corner so this is where your images are going to appear so that's the X and Y so whenever you talk about an image uh, this is the X and the Y okay um, the other thing is that the distance to this part right here which is where Flappy Bird can fly so this is like the edge of it is going to be whatever that X and Y is plus the height of the <coughs> the pipe okay now this box right here is basically the only space that Flappy Bird can go and be safe and so you actually don't need to worry about this image where it is you can just worry about this image and making sure it's in that box so you can imagine if this image was gone this box would still be here okay so let's talk about the safe zone so we're just gonna find this by looking at these four corners and if you just think about it from knowing where this image is we can just use the height of the pipe to get to here and then the width of the pipe to get to here and then of course we've got the distance between them which of course we can adjust so we should probably think about doing some abstract coding there in case we change that <laughs> this would be a great time not to use hard coding okay so one of the things that you can do is you can actually pause your game and just have it follow the mouse around and you can just manually drag to see where exactly is your safe area so that's totally fine if you want to use trial and error I totally have done that before but for me it's a lot easier if you just calculate it so anyways regardless of how you do it you're gonna end up adjusting it at the end <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about getting these four points. So we already talked about the height here. So remember that this d point right here is whatever the X and Y of the original one plus the height. The height, of course, is of the pipe. Okay, this one over here is going to be the same coordinates as the Y coordinates, but the X is going to be however wide that image is. So whatever my number is, you should use the width of your image there. Okay, and same with this guy right here. So um, this is going to be the same X coordinate because they're vertically aligned, but it's going to have additionally the height between them. So this is 480 because that's what I've decided to make it. So I'm going to try to change that in the code so it's not exactly 480. But there you get an idea of the four points, okay? So this is going to be a lot easier to actually understand when we go to the code. But it's, I just wanted to take at least one second to explain how I got these numbers when I get to those numbers. Okay, so one thing I forget at the end is that my image also has a height and a width. So if you remember Kirby, that's what I'm using, he's going to be placed from here to here. So if you just think about this distance from here to here and you had Kirby at that spot, he'd still be in the safe zone but his body would be in the pipe so actually you're gonna adjust it for the height of that okay so that pretty much sums up the um, presentation for that so and you can see what I've been doing so one of the things I like to do is just drag Kirby around so I can kinda see exactly what is acceptable and what's not but before I go any further let me go back to the processing folder and just talk about how you can get this information so this is the pipe I'm really concerned with so one thing I need to know is how tall is it And if I forgot which I have I'm gonna go to right click it and then properties and go to details and it will tell you it's 449 pixels high and similarly with Kirby if I right click and go to properties I can go details and it'll tell me it's 45 pixels high and it's 35 pixels wide okay so I'm gonna leave that open for when I get to that point okay alright so let's dig in and get started um, <clears throat> so we've got our pipes working and just to review everything's going fine the problem really is that we haven't done any collisions so everything looks good for our pipes but now I've got Kirby I've got to decide when he's in the safe zone like he is right here and when he's not like right there okay and I just noticed one thing I want to bring Kirby to the front so let's cut this and put that here and what this does 
by drawing Kirby last, it puts Kirby on top. So always remember in computer animation, um, the last thing drawn is what will show. So I'm just going to just quickly do that. Uh oh, where'd he go? <laughs> That's really ridiculous. Oh, you know what? I have it inside of that bracket. So that bracket needs to be here. Funny how I'm always such a stickler for indentation, and yet I messed that up anyway. So that's why he wasn't responding to my, <laughs> my mouse press. He was gone. So anyways, there we go. Now he's on the top, so I don't lose him behind anything. Okay. So um, I'm going to take this right here, which is set the pipes. This is basically all the pipes information. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write a method called... Um, I mean, I just hate when they're not the same exact thing. I'll call it set pipes. So I set BG and set pipes. So let's write a method called void set pipes. And we'll just paste that code inside of there. And bam, there it is. So now that code, which is definitely a little bit, that's quite a bit of code. Uh, definitely good to hide that so we can kind of see that our code is basically setting the background, setting the pipes, and then drawing Kirby. So that's all we've actually done so far. Okay, so it still works the same. So now what do we want to do? We want to check to make sure that our Kirby is not intersecting our pipes. Okay, and actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a game state right now. Um, so just to check my code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an integer called game state. And the reason I don't use a boolean instead of just having two states, I might have more, so I like to use an integer. So I'll do uh, integer game state and I'll just initialize the game state to zero. So I'll just say, actually, you know what? You don't need to initialize it to zero. It's already going to be zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this code that is basically my draw function. And I'm only going to have that working if game state is equal to zero. Double equal sign. Remember that. Since we're evaluating, we're not assigning. We want to make sure we use double equal. Okay. So basically, and then I'll say else, um, let's say text. We'll just write text. Oh, man. You lose. Okay. And we'll just do that at like 20, 100. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so what we can do is <clears throat> we just check the game, make sure it still works. So basically what I've done is I've split my main game loop into two sections. So I've got the, the original and I've got what happens when he dies. Because now that we're going to collide, we're actually going to have, you know, the game needs to stop, right? So let's actually test this out. Um, let's say... Um, Void mouse press. We'll just say if I press the mouse, we'll say game state equals one. We'll just change the game state. Let's see if that actually works. So I won't touch the mouse. I'll just let it run. If I click it, boom, it stops. So there we go. I pretty much knew that was going to work. I use this all the time. So hopefully this isn't too confusing. But now, even though it doesn't look like I've done anything, I've set myself up for a second game state. And um, we can have as many game states as we want, like a start screen and all that. We'll do that at the end. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We're going to go into our um, um, code, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to decide if Kirby is going to touch these pipes. So let's just write a method inside of the for loop. So inside of this, I'm just going to do a method called check pipes. And what I'm going to pass is I'm going to pass in the x value of I. All right. Mm, no, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to write it inside of here. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to write it inside of here. So I'm just going to say if, uh, let's see, kx, which is always Kirby's x, which is a number, is, um, let's see, we want it to be greater than the pipe x. So it's greater than the pipe x pipe x i and it's also k x you got to do both you can't just say you can't just do one <laughs> also less than pipe x i plus the width of the pipe x so how wide was it again see i told you i'm i'm like 43 years old so i don't have a good memory 
so I always have to do this so everyone's here like shouting to the screen actually come on Mr. Thel you're terrible alright 97 92 pixels okay so we'll go ahead and do where am I well what happened um, void draw okay 92 pixels plus 92 so let's just say if he's in here and what do we want to have happen we'll just say game state equals 2 or 1 doesn't really matter anything other than 0 okay so let's just see if that works so by the time we get into the x coordinate oh I lost so as soon as Kirby got to the pipes I lost so here's a good point so you see how it didn't actually go till the edges caught so what I can do is I can adjust this so instead of comparing the x coordinate here I can say I can subtract the width of Kirby which was like 40 something was it <laughs> right now I'm like literally I just looked at this 35 pixels okay 35 pixels for Kirby so what I can do is I can actually subtract 35 inside of there so I'll actually do that in there okay let's see if that works I'm not actually sure I, do I add 35 do I subtract I'm not lying I don't know I'm gonna just find out right now yay I did it right I subtracted 35 so that made it so that as soon as the front of this sucker moved it boom died okay so that's working so but of course I don't want to do that I want to have um, a, a, a condition now so I now I'm in between the pipe X's so I could do another one but I'm just gonna do if um, KY okay is greater than pipe we'll try the same exact method for the Y let me get rid of this for a second oh man <laughs> Horrible coding tutorial by Mr. Tho. You're 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 welcome. All right, pipe y i. If it is greater than pipe y i plus what was the height of it? Four hundred and forty nine, I think. Let's just test it out later. And um, pipe or k y is less than pipe y. I <laughs> and then plus let's see 449 plus the gap we're gonna make an integer for the gap so um, yeah let's just do the gap so I'm a I don't know what, what the right word is um, so that gap right there I think I know the gap but um, just to remind you we did it up here when we did 680 but that is with the 449 so if I subtract 449 from 680 I'm doing this on my calculator right here I get 231 so I'll just call the gap 231 okay so now let's see if he only dies if I'm in the gap so this is kinda strange I'm actually going to avoid the gap and see if it lives okay so far so good and now if I'm in the gap I die that's good so that's actually good of course I don't want that to happen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that oh nope I can just do this I can just if not and I can just basically put a uh, explanation point in front of all of that and it's basically just the opposite so if it's not in the gap then it'll make game state equal to one so that's what that explanation point does so now the gap should be the only place that I can get through yay I'm through I'm through and if I'm out oh I died yay so this is actually working pretty well <laughs> a lot better than I thought it was going to do okay so now at this point I'm just gonna leave it here for now because at this point I would just go through and do some testing so if you're at this point that the tutorial you're like oh great it's working we're almost done thank God I don't have to listen to Mr. Tho anymore subscribe and hit the alert button please okay so now you do see this is what I wanted to show you though it doesn't die until he gets to the end so I do want to adjust the height just like I did for the the uh, other one so I'm going to actually put parentheses around here Oops. I could just combine these like terms but let's see let's subtract what was it 49 pixels I think and I need to close the parentheses alright 
So that's a lot of parentheses. <laughs> Let's see if this works a little bit better. Let's see if he dies. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Like he's, I mean, no one's going to look at that and go, oh my God, that's terrible. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with this, you guys. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Oops, that's my little tester method. I'll upload this code to GitHub. And like always, don't forget to hit the like button. Good night.